Hi there, this is Bomb Zoron from the Jailbreak Discord. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CheckRain with a tool called BootRain. CheckRain is a very powerful jailbreaking tool that utilizes the Checkmate Secure Boot ROM exploit. It is semi tethered, meaning that if you turn off your phone while it is jailbroken, you will lose your jailbreak until you can rerun this tool on a PC. After you rerun the tool, all tweaks and themes you had installed previously will be right back where you left them. CheckRain is a special jailbreak in the sense that Apple cannot revoke it, so no more having to deal with expired and invalid certificates. BootRain is installed on a USB flash drive. To make this USB, you will need a Windows PC and a blank USB flash drive that is at least 500 megabytes. If your USB drive is too small for this, I would ask you to leave 2001 and join us in the modern era. An important note, the USB drive you choose to use will have all the files on it deleted. If you want to keep the files that are on that drive, you'll need to save them elsewhere. You will also need to know how to enter your computer's BIOS settings. Every computer and motherboard has a different button you need to press when you first turn on your computer to enter it. Usually it's your delete key, F2 key, or F11 key. More than likely, your bio screen is going to be different from the one in this video, so please be careful. If you have your motherboard's manual or look it up online, it will tell you where these settings are for your specific model. If you don't already know how to do this, I recommend you take a few minutes to look up your manual before you proceed. If you get stuck at any part of this video, feel free to join the Jailbreak official Discord server and ask in the Genius Bar or CheckRain channel. There will be an invite link down below. As of the time this guide was written and recorded, this method will work on iOS 12.3 all the way up to 13.3.1. As time progresses, I'll update the description of this video with support information of future iOS updates. Supported devices include the following. All iPhones from the iPhone 5S up to the iPhone 10, The iPhone 10S, 10S Max, 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max do not support this method. This will also work on most iPads, except for iPad Pros that use the A12 processor, which came out in 2018 and later. If your iPad does not have a home button, it is sadly not supported. Whenever I say to download a file, the link should be in the description. With all of that out of the way, let's dive right in. The first thing that you'll want to do is download a copy of BootRain. The file is around 400 megabytes. So depending on your internet speed, it might take a while. While that downloads, you will want to get a program called Rufus. This will put BootRain onto your USB drive. Once you have those two files ready, you will want to take the BootRain file you downloaded and unzip it somewhere that it's easy for you to find. Next, open Rufus. If you haven't already plugged in your USB drive, you will want to do it now. You should see it appear under the device section at the top with the name and size listed in the box. Make sure you have the correct drive selected. If it is the only item on the list, then you don't have to worry. Next, you will want to click Select just under the device box. Remember where you extracted the boot ring to? Inside that folder is the file you'll want to select. With the file now selected, you can ignore all of the other settings and click Start. A few windows will appear one after another. You will want to choose ISO image mode which should be the default choice. It might ask you to make sure you want to proceed. This is where it will start to wipe the data off the drive. Make sure there's nothing on there that you need before you click Yes. Once it finishes and says Ready again at the bottom, you can now close Rufus. You won't need it anymore unless you lose your USB drive or need to make a new one. Now we are going to shut off our PC and go into the BIOS settings and change the computer's boot order. Make sure you keep your new USB plugged in while we continue. In the BIOS screen, I'm going to navigate to Boot Settings and find my boot device number 1 and pick my USB device. Then I will go to boot device number 2 and set it as my computer's hard drive. Save these settings and exit BIOS. This way, if you have your boot rain USB plugged in before you turn your PC on, it will bypass Windows and go straight to boot rain. If your boot rain USB is not plugged in when you turn on your PC, your computer will start Windows as normal. You will not have to come to BIOS every time you need to jailbreak. Your computer should restart, and Void Linux should be on your screen. 
Press Enter on the top option. Once it is done loading and shows a flashing cursor, you're ready to start typing. This might be scary, but trust me, this is extremely easy. First, type the following. Anon. Press Enter. Then, Void Linux. Notice how it doesn't show the letters as you type. Trust me, it's still typing. Press Enter again. Good job, you just logged into the system. Now, lastly, type sudo check rain with a 1 where you would normally put an I in the word rain. Hit Enter again. Ta-da, you're in check rain. Connect your iDevice to your computer using an Apple USB cable. From here, you follow the on-screen instructions to put your device into DFU mode. After you've gotten into DFU mode, leave your phone connected to your computer till CheckRain says, all done. If everything goes through properly, your phone should now be going crazy on its screen. This is exactly what you want. That means it's working. Let it finish. It will start up all by itself. Once you're on your home screen, you should see the CheckRain app. Open it and tap on Install Cydia. You're done. Enjoy your jailbroken device. Now, got stuck on a step? Got an error? There's an FAQ and a list of common errors with solutions in the description below. Don't see your issue? Feel free to ask in the comment section below or ask our genius team in our Discord server. Thanks to all of these amazing people for helping make CheckRain possible. That's all for now. Stay tuned for another jailbreak video on this YouTube channel. Thanks for being awesome.